question is, what's the difference between cervical disc disease and thoracic outlet syndrome? The easiest is to point out that thoracic outlet syndrome, irrespective of the, of the symptoms, irrespective of the symptoms, nearly always, like 98% of the time, nearly always has bilateral findings. In cervical disc disease, there may be neck pain, which is localizing or non-localizing, and some restriction of motion, but by definition, there's no cervical disc that it can involve both sides at the same time. So a cervical disc protrusion will produce pain, weakness, numbness, or a combination in one extremity, depending, and the level depends on whether it's the thumb involved or the little finger or something in between. With thoracic outlet syndrome, I, and I, I know this is a repeat, this is the third or fourth time around, it's very important that the examination look for bilateral findings, even though the complaints or the symptoms of disability seems to the patient to be mostly one-sided. If we then remember that thoracic outlet syndrome has local, regional, and systemic or remote symptoms, putting all that together, provides an, an unmistakable proof of the thoracic outlet syndrome.